Hey guys, it's your girl, I promise. So, me and my little sister decided to do a Halloween look. She's more into emo, goth stuff, and I'm more into prettier stuff. So, we decided on doing the Purple Night Shooting Star look. And right now, I'm just outlining where I want her night to be and where I want her foundation side to be. So, I'm using her Maybelline Fit Me in the color 355 Coconut. And you can um, blot out your eyebrows with uh, glue. Uh, I didn't really want to block her eyebrows out that much. And I didn't want to fill her eyebrows in either because her brows were thick enough. So we just kind of gave it a mutual look. And the only reason why I covered it a bit is later on you'll see what she wanted to add to her glam look face which I totally was against but she made me do it anyways um my other little sister's in the background doing shit she ain't supposed to be doing so don't if you want entertainment along with this she gave it to you guys I use uh, my MAC and it's my MAC Shimmer Pretty Thing Goodbye bag. And I used the dark purple in there to do her, her crease. And then I went in with my NYX Ultimate Palette and I used the purple in there as well to, go, um, to just darken up the crease in there. And yeah, my little sister in the background doing her thing on top of it. I tried to edit her out, but I didn't until later. Um, I used my ColourPop concealer to give a more pigmented color on the next shadow I used, which was my Revlon Makeup um, Palette. And this is their Galaxy Palette looking one. And I use the purple shadow in there, the purple shimmer shadow, and the purple matte to get her eyelids the color I want. So after blending, I did go in with my beauty blender a little bit just to clean up the lines. And then I also put concealer on her face. I used my ColourPop concealer. And this just to just to give her a little bit of highlight. I didn't really contour her face on this side. I just gave her a little, little highlight because we ended up darkening up the face enough that I didn't highlight. And this is where I cut my other little sister out. A, as much as I can she was doing too much the next thing I used was Maybelline fit me this is her pressed powder and it's also in the same color as her foundation which is 355 coconut and then I um, went in with my NYX ultimate palette the purple to put, give her an under eye look to give her some under shadow look I mean here right here I am using my beauty bakery mascara just to give her some looks make her eyelash look a little bit longer than normal but good good enough because she doesn't like um lashes as well as my other little sister now i'm fixing up her line and i'm using the halloween makeup kit that comes in with a, a bunch of different colors so i use the black one to sketch out the lining and i kind of try to fill it in with black eyeshadow
Okay, and now I'm going in with my Juvia um, palette. Again, I'll list the name below, but I'm using the black just to outline the perimeter of her face at this moment, just to give it some shade to it. And I kept buffing and buffing and buffing and making circle lines. And I also went in a little bit close to her edges too, cause it had to cover. It. And she was laughing cause she said it tickles. <laughs> So, I don't know what you want to do with that, but that's why she was laughing a bit. Next, I went in with my other Juvia's palette, and I used the purple in there to darken up i used the purple in the juvia palette and also the purple in the revlon um galaxy palette just to outline and darken up the purple sky part of her face I'm, now I'm going in with my NYX Ultimate palette and I'm using the blue in there to give us center blue but throughout this whole side of the face I kept going back in those palettes giving her a different shade I also put a little bit of the shadow on her lips but I kept blending kept mixing so enjoyed this part Now that I got her face to the right depth of night that we were going for, I went in with the white um, paint, makeup paint that came in the Halloween kit. And I start putting on dots around her face to symbol like different stars. Wasn't going for a specific star shape or scope, but if you want, you can go for it. And there's my other little sister doing too much. <laughs> but she was promoting my um, hair business, Promise Beautiful Hair. I'll link that below. And there's my business card. And then I started doing swirls to symbolize shooting stars on my little sister face. So, yeah.
Now these were I tried to add on to her edge perimeter perimeter her edges perimeter because um I wanted to make it look like the stars were also her edges as best as I can. And she would not take that headband off, even for the end of these pictures. So you wonder why that headband is still on her head, she will not take it off. There you go. This part I did add in some silver eyeshadow from my Revlon Galaxy palette to just give it a more sh silver shooting star look. The camera went off, but I did add NYX Liquid Squad um, 19 on her lips and Matte Night Moth as her lip liner. And then we added blood. And this is gel blood. This is not really fake blood. This is gel type blood. Fake blood is a little bit darker. Um, I'll also use black eyeshadow to darken it up. And this is her wanting to move from glam back to her look and I and I did it because this is hers um she did back away from me because she didn't know this the setting how the setting spray looked but I used um beautiful beauty bakery setting spray on her face so you'll see her jump back for a minute but I hope you guys enjoy the look 